a lot of people don't really know that, you know, a lot of people like they want to put their music up there and upload their music but they just don't know the process or the requirements. What are the requirements actually? Yo, yo, she's coming to go with her. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. You know what, no, you must be coming. Okay, I'll try to do that next time. Be like, so what did you tell her man? I can't do Afrikaans part, I can't do Biki Afrikaans part, but I can't do that. No, I'm not going to do that. But that's so you were Afrikaans. I don't know. That's so you were Afrikaans. I don't know. Okay, so where I've come from, we speak like that clip flat slang, you know, gam. Yeah, we speak gam. I'll be on my mission. I'll be on my mission. Catch me, candid for this later self. Catch me one day whipping in his benches. Catch me, catch me, catch me. Catch me, like we playing on on. Roll one, and you gon' sing along. Hey, sip some, and you gon' get your dance on. Catch me, catch me, catch me, yeah. Hey, what it do, what it is. Goedemiddag allemaal. It is your girl Gigi Marafi, aka Gushin Javanche, and we are back with yet another episode of Couch Creatives. Now, you know I am all for the upliftment of females, so in studio with me today, I am blessed by the majesty, her queen, a female rapper who goes by the name of Queen Pin. Give me a round of applause. How oh, are yeah. you, ma'am? I'm good, are you? I'm good. You know, I saw her wear orange, and I was like, I'm going to wear orange. Like, I want us to match. So, I want to talk about your name, first and foremost, because a lot of people, I thought you'd be like Queen Pen, like Pen of the Queen, but mm -hmm. you went with Queen Pen. So, yeah. where did the name come from? So, uh, a few years ago, I was watching a movie. Mm -hmm. So, the movie's called Queen Pen. Okay. And then I got inspired by that. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna go with that name. What was the Because story? the character was more like a, um, like, you know, a Queen Pen, like, you know what a King Pen is? Yeah. So I'm basically the female version, so yeah. Oh, she okay. was standing out amongst the guys okay. and she was like just the leader. Oh, okay. and, then and then I saw, you know, you from, in your Instagram bio, you said you're from um, Cape Town Flats yeah. and you want to go to New York. Is that where, is that the destination we're going to? Yeah, I'm definitely going there. That's like one of my goals. Yeah. So yeah. Being from the Cape Town Flats, would you say that your area or where you grew up um, originated or had an effect on the music or you having? Definitely. How so? Like everything you see, everything I saw, yeah. and um, yeah, I got inspired by that to write about it. Yeah. yeah. Everything. <laughs> when did this music journey start? The rapping journey. Um, I'd say I always had it in me, but I just never had like the guts to actually take a mic and perform mm -hmm. in front of people. So probably like around about 2015, 16 mm -hmm. side. That's when I was like, okay, now What made you have those guts? Did something happen in your life for you to be like, I actually want to step on stage and actually now start rapping in front of people? Um, I, I did my first song and I was like, okay, now I have to take it serious. Yeah. And then I performed for the first time and I fell in love with it and I was like, okay, now I'm going to do this. And now imagine if you didn't take that step because you wouldn't have been with like youngster CPT and been on his album like if you were always scared exactly. you would never be where you were today oh, exactly I want to ask you do you think um, rappers have an impact on society they definitely do because they got guts right they got confidence mm -hmm. now some people out there they don't have that confidence but they get inspired by a rapper they say everything or everyone's thinking they can relate to mm -hmm. what they're going through so yeah definitely rappers do have an impact what person like personal aspect do you have with regards to your music like how do you add or put your personality into your rap yeah that's a difficult question yes. <laughs> um i just i'm just me i think and who is you what do you mean i'm just me like you need to let me know who is queen pun queen pun is yeah queen pun's a go-getter mm -hmm. queen pun is up in your face mm -hmm. like she's just like raw mm -hmm. aggressive mm -hmm. yeah that's queen pun and what is the message you're trying to bring across with regards to the type of rap you rap so uh, i would say like my my rap is like gangster so i'm trying to just like show whoever's watching me and mm -hmm. whoever's inspired by me, by me like just go for what you want yeah. man just be you and do it with confidence. Be who you are. Yeah. Don't don't pretend you're someone you're not. And I think because you're gonna fail, you're definitely, definitely gonna also fail if at you that. Are not, if someone wasn't gangster like you, you'd have a lot of very similar rappers in the industry. So if you come with your own sense of style, your own sense of rap, and who you are, then you can stand out, and that's something you do very well. 
I must say. So Very how good. was it being on Youngster CPT's album or actually getting a message from him saying he wants to be in studio with you? That was crazy because like, first of all, I didn't expect like a DM what? from Youngster. Yeah. I think like, if you're making music, you should expect people to be watching. Okay, but like, that. I think a year before the DM, yeah. I was watching him at the show, yeah. like in town somewhere. And, and then he was like performing there and he was crazy, man. And I was like, yo, one day he's going to feature me. And he did. And I, and I wasn't like, the next year you're yeah. going to feature me. I was like, one day you're going to feature me. And in that moment, I felt like he's definitely going to feature yeah. me. And then the next day he DM'd me and I was like, oh, first I was shocked. I was like, oh, he access him at the Yeah. Were <laughs> well, you like also Did like, I screenshot it? I was like, everything, and yeah. I was like, I scratched his name out yeah. and I posted it on the story. I'm yeah. like, kiss the authors. Yeah. And people's like, that's young, so that's young. Yeah. So I'm like, nah, it's not young. So, yeah. but then eventually, yeah. So that was crazy. Yeah. And then he told me to come to the studio and I went. Yeah. And I was so excited because I was like, yo, it's a young, so, you yeah. know. And then when he came there, he was just humble, man. And I was like, yo, this is a Very down to humble. earth guy. Mm -hmm. So I grant him mm -hmm. for being that type of person. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, he played me the song and I was like, okay, here we go. He took me out of my element though. Because the, the song was like about this chick, you know. I think, but as rappers, you should also have diversity. Um, don't always have like the same rhythm, same flow. Like try be different, try be you, but yeah. also have diversity. So I think that was a good thing. Yeah. And you also have like a project coming out soon. Yeah. The so time is now. You know, featuring Young CPT, and I got and I got a few uh, other dope artists also on there as Such well. As Tam Carson, mm -hmm. um, Big B, Emma Steins, mm -hmm. and Leo of course. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but I'm excited for that. I'm it's a five track for EP. Excited for you. I'm super excited, yo. I and it's dropping on the 26th of so. August. Yeah. 26th of August. So you guys heard five track EP dropping 26th August. Watch out for that. Where are we gonna get it? Please Spotify, save it. Everything. Where are we getting it? All platforms. All platforms. Yeah, we want. I wanna be everywhere. And you will be. We're, we're gonna see you in New York one day. Maybe yes. one day. Now, if I say um, one day, it'll be like in six months' time. You never know. But one day we're gonna be you seeing you. See, with that youngster manifestation, exactly. you it was crazy. Now, early on, we spoke about um, the challenges of everyone seeing your success, but not the work that comes with it. And I want to talk about you brought your daughter in with you today. Yes. So, what was like the reason of you bringing your daughter into studio? Because I want her to see like nothing in life comes easy. Mm. So, if you if you have a goal, you have to work towards it. You can't mm. just like pray. You can pray for it, but. It, it has to come with hard work as well. So I want her to see that. Mm -hmm. Hard work pays off. And how was it having to be a mother with regards to the type of industry you work with? Because I know sometimes if you're like in the entertainment industry, people wait up until the end to have children once they've achieved all they wanted to achieve. Mm -hmm. And you had a child before that. So yeah. how was it having a child while still navigating yourself through the industry? It's, you know, it's hard because you have to be a mother and yeah. you have to be an artist. So you have to separate those two things but um we push yeah. where do you find your middle ground i think just like pray just pray. chill oh uh, what pray, you say pray 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 pray, pray. Like pray. okay very pray. important yeah is that what you always do when you find hardship in the yes, challenges definitely. okay what would you say is your biggest fear with regards to your rapping career or the rap industry? My biggest fear is not achieving my goal. Not achieving your goal. Yeah. How would you define success? If you were to say you're successful, what would you have achieved for you to be happy in your rap career? Like self-love. Self-love. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, that's number one. Number one. Number two, oh. <laughs> now I have to think. <laughs> <Man>! <laughs> Um, I don't know, it's just self-love, man. Okay, let me say a different one. With regards to the entertainment industry, what is one thing, if you could, what is one thing you would change? For the industry, in the industry. That they take more fe like note of the female, female For artists. For take more note yeah. of them. Okay. And put them more out there because like, you can't have so many male figures in mm -hmm. the industry when there's so many females. Which so females I've changed do you think that aren't being recognized right now? All the female artists. I feel like I can name a few that everyone knows of. Yeah, but then it's just like a handful. That's true. And then when you look at the males and then it's like a whole crowd of males and then 
there are so many females and different talents, different styles, mm -hmm. so it's not the same. Mm -hmm. Before we end off the interview, I want to ask you, how do you get your music onto your music platforms? Like, what is the process of getting your music on those platforms? So I got the distribution deal okay. with the uh, um, Cape Town thing. So they Cape sort Town that. Thing. Oh yes. yes. Cape Town so thing. they sorted that out. Okay. Because I don't have stress. I don't want to have that kind of stress, man. Wait, do you have? There's something I don't know what people call like. What is it like royalties? Do you have rights over your music? Yeah, you have. Rights I own my my music own your definitely. Music. Yes, you own your music. Okay. Yeah. And then, how do you get your music on like radio stations? It's also a Cape Town thing, or so you have to send your music through, and then they'll choose like if it's suitable for the radio or so forth. You send it through through an email, and because mm -hmm. a lot of people don't really know that, you know, a lot of people like they want to put their music up there and upload their music, but they just don't know the process or the requirement. What are the requirements actually? Yo, yo, she's coming and going with her. I'm oh, sorry, I'm oh, sorry. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. You know what? No, you must be calm, man. Calm, okay. Uh, I'll calm. try to do that next be time. Like, <laughs> be like, so what did you tell her, man? I can't do Afrikaans part. I can't do Afrikaans part, but I can't do that. No, I'm not going to do that. But that's Afrikaans. Savor Afrikaans. I don't know. That's Savor Afrikaans. Okay, I don't know. Okay, so where I've come from, we speak like, the Cape Flat slang, you know, yeah. ham. Okay, yeah, no, we I speak can't. ham. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I can't. So basically, the requirements, I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> next don't time, know. when you come back next time, you're going to have your research done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, then where can we find you on the social media handle? Um, you can find me on Instagram at official underscore Queenpun and then everywhere else Queenpun. Okay, well, you heard that and that's on per. Right about now, we're going to go into a quick performance. But now, now, we're going to go into a quick ad break. And when we come back, we'll be having a performance by Queen Pin, the ever so beautiful Her Majesty. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Yes, yeah. sirs. We promised you an interview. Performance. I promised you a performance. And therefore, you are going to get a performance. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for and welcome Miss Queen Pin as she performs her song on her EP, Stalking Me. Yes. My mommy she's up in the ghetto while I try to get in the game. Get in the game. I just need a feature with young things that not insane. I shit my rap for the money and not for the fame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I stay in my lane, cause me and these men so we never the same. Fame in the game, so low key. New style, new flow, flow beat. I see them stalking me. They view in my status and think I don't see. Fame in the game, so low key. New style, new flow, flow beat. I see them stalking me. They view in my status and think I don't see. The scene like oh no, I mix them bandits like oh mo. Oh, uh, talking about me, think I don't know. I put you out in the streets like a hobo. Uh, fighting my style, create your own flow. Riding my wave like a boat. Type. Riding this beat, take a stoke. All these fake rappers, they know I'm a goat. Take a suit, ride my little great coat. Put me no two comes, my queen is soaked. As in my suit, I create the banana. Ha, 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 ha. Tell them that I'm coming for my spot. This is hip hop. Wolf in sheep's clothing. I, I, I don't give a fuck. My mommy, she's up in the ghetto while I try to get in the game. Get in the game. I just need a feature with young things that not insane. I shoot my rap for the money and not for the fame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I stay in my lane, cause me and these men so we never the same. Fame in the game, so low key. New style, new flow, flow beat. I see them stalking me. They view in my status, they think I don't see. Fame in the game, so low key. New style, new flow, flow beat. I see them stalking me. They view in my status, they think I don't see. The streets still a baller Baby mom is what they call her No ghost right, I'm the author And if you talk, talk to self talk Chill my flow, flowing like it's water Do this rap thing for my daughter You couldn't say anything when I caught you I got the pick up like a abortion oh, Sorry mom, I just slaughter From Cape Town to Joe's in New York, no I just a mool, like I'm going bigger Independent, not a cold digger I fire shot like a poop digger I took my L's, now I'm a winner Yeah, uh, yeah, uh I'm a winner, I'm a winner. Ay. My mommy, she's up in the ghetto while I try to get in the game. Get in the game. I just need a feature with young things that not insane. I shoot my rap for the money and not for the fame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I stay in my lane, cause me and these men, so we never the same. Fame in the game, so low key. New style, new flow, flow beat. I see them stalking me. They view in my status, they think I don't see. Fame in the game, so low key. New style, new flow, flow beat. I see them stalking me. They view in my status, they think I don't see. Hey, hey. Okay, guys, 
Fire stalking me on all social platforms. Away. Away. Catch me. I'll be on my mission. I'll be on my mission. Catch me. Can it for this lady? Catch me one day whipping in his benches. Catch me, catch me, catch me. Catch me. Like we playing on on. Roll one. And you gon' sing along. Hey. Sip some. And you gon' get your dance on. Catch me, catch me, catch me. Yeah. Drowning in ambition now